Oh God. <laughs> oh God, do I have to use these? These scare me. What's going on everybody? I am Lauren Toyota. I'm hot for food and guess what's going down all month? Recipe? Okay, so it's basically been a year since I did these because, you know, things have been trucking right along here at Hot For Food. Lots of developments, lots of additions and changes. But uh, as you may or may not know, uh, I am currently in Bali running a retreat that I'm hosting called Live With Purpose. So these have been taped in advance and I thought, why not for the whole month of June while I'm gone, I recipe for y'all. Uh, it's been a while, I'm a little nervous. I don't know why, just cause I haven't done this in so long. This is the whole thing where I create a recipe from scratch by going through my pantry and fridge and using what I have available. May it be leftovers of sauces from testing or just random ingredients that I've picked up along my journey in grocery shopping. So we don't know what's gonna happen. I don't have a plan. I don't even have an inspiration at the moment. Another little twist. Uh, that's occurring today is that a very special person from the Hot For Food team has already snuck into my kitchen in advance and put secret ingredients in the fridge and the pantry. So this is kind of what you guys have been asking for for a while, like make it more like chopped, like secret basket. Uh, I don't even know what's in there. I'm gonna go look at it now and I'm gonna try to incorporate uh, one or a few of these things into the recipe today. <laughs> look, I'm, I'm not even like well oiled in saying it. I haven't said it in so long. Recipe? When you've got stuff in the fridge, you just pull it out and then you make something up. Like, you know, the leftover, you know, cleaning out the fridge soup or like whatever it might be. So this is how you get creative and this is how you learn how to actually cook and combine flavors and whatnot. So let's just stop yakking away and get to this. These tend to be longer than normal videos. So hunker down and get a snack. I'm going to the fridge. What's in the fridge? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, well, there's a lot. What? did she add here? Uh, this can of pumpkin is for the cat, so we won't use that. <laughs> this looks new, okay. So these are some sauces we were testing. I think I know what this is. I think it's the ones from the kimchi potato cakes. Yeah, that's a good sauce. We've got some leftover baby spinach. Oh my God. We are not in shortage of food here. We have a lot to work from. Leftover maple mustard dip. This is leftover black olives, leftover blistered cherry tomatoes, because I've been making those like crazy. We've got some iceberg lettuce. I would just eat that like. <laughs> I was told there's a real curveball thing in here and I'm not seeing it. Oh no, oh God. Artichokes, okay, oh my God. You know why these are in here? Because way back when, when we made the oysters Rockefeller, I had thought let's do artichoke leaves as the shell, but artichokes were not in season and these are very hard to find. I feel like these are a, like a rare commodity here. I never see them in the store, at least not good ones. So, oh God, do I have to use these? These scare me. <laughs> the truth is, is like I've never worked with these. And when I've eaten them at restaurants, they're usually like underwhelming, let's say. I feel like there's a lot of work to be done and then you go to eat it and you're like, I barely ate anything. Like you have to scrape the flesh off with your teeth and you're like, there's a, just like a crumb of a vegetable there. So I really have no clue how to work with this. I of course always use the marinated kind because those are ready to go. The lentils are good to go. So that's a nice, you know, hearty protein thing for something. Uh, I was also told I need to go in this cupboard. There's some secret things over here. Oh, what is this? Okay, these look homemade. These are amazing. Oh, ooh. Confirming they are homemade, I've, I've been told. These are good. Well, I love bread. Okay, what are we going to do? Okay, first of all, I have to Google what to do with this because I don't know. How to cook and eat an artichoke. You know, I don't know everything. I'm just a, I'm not a, I'm not a chef. I'm just like a home cook. What's this chick doing? She's cutting them in half. The spikes are sharp. Ow! There's a myth that if you actually eat this, you will choke and die. But it doesn't taste that good. What the Steam them. This 
is so much work. She steamed one artichoke and it took 40 minutes. <laughs> I've never watched this long of any YouTube video. Okay, let's just follow what Brandy's doing. In that video, when Brandy got down to like the the heart. So she ate all the leaves, blah, blah, waste of time. But then the heart was there and it looks like a cool little bowl of some kind. Like I would almost like deep fry the whole heart. It's just like a lot of work. So we have like an hour and a half before we even get to that stage. <laughs> So we're steaming the artichokes, the chokes. Is that what we're calling them? The chokes. I think with all of these things I have here, they kind of all go together. Leftover lentils, leftover cauliflower, chives, roasted red peppers, olives, cherry tomatoes. It's a bit like a lentil salad style thing. Uh, I mean, even the pecans kind of work in this because I always like adding nuts with the vegetables for crunch and fat and whatever. So here's what I think, we'll steam those, we'll get to the heart, we'll get rid of the thing that could make us die, then we'll deep fry those, and I'm gonna make like a little medley lentil thing to like spoon on top, and then we'll make a sauce. Yeah. And, oh, this is not spinach actually, this is perfect, this is oregano and parsley. So see, this is just like a salad made, it's just wanting to be made. Now, this cauliflower is fine. I'm just gonna chop it up. Ooh, I even have mint in the fridge, actually, if it hasn't wilted yet. Let's put these peppers in there. There's a perfect amount. Now, don't discard the liquid, because that could help with a dressing. I always like saving that. Usually it's oil and vinegar based. Water, white vinegar. Oh, there's not even, there's no oil. Oil free. Now she said I was supposed to check these every five minutes. I think it's okay. Everything should be about the size of the lentils, I think. This already looks beautiful. Uh, look, we've got olives. Let's just add those in. So there's a bit of juice. I'm just gonna add it to this jar. Maybe this will just be like our sauce. Now I'm gonna add, I've got uh, all these fresh herbs, which are gonna make this so awesome. So we'll do the chives, the oregano, and I'll add the parsley too. Since these pecans are already nice and chopped up, I'm just gonna throw them right in the salad. I also have these cherry tomatoes that I'll just, I'll just add these in. They're, they're blistered, so I roasted them. They're nice and juicy. I'm just gonna like cut them in half. I'll just add this uh, oil and tomato juice. Waste nothing. So let's give this a stir, see where we're at. It looks cool. It definitely needs some ground pepper. Oh, I'm gonna add mint, that's still good. It should be good, because this is how I store my herbs and they seem to last like three weeks. This looks like a real recipe. <laughs> Let's taste it. It's probably gonna need some vinegar or lemon juice. Oh yeah, so we need salt. I'm just gonna put this in here. I'm also gonna take my this is maple. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> maple mustard dip, hot for food cookbook with the sausage rolls. Cause this has Dijon, a bit of mayonnaise, grainy mustard. So this will be nice. Cause this is what you would normally just put in a dressing anyway. Yeah, that's great. Hmm. I'm gonna put lemon. Maybe some lemon zest too. I know it needs a bit of salt still. Just add a pinch of chili flakes. I'm doing like a quarter teaspoon. A little more lemon in there. Maybe we'll just let it sit now while we deal with these artichokes. I hope this isn't a whole waste of time. <laughs> so, Brandy in the video suggests saving the leaves for later, but I don't really want to eat them. <laughs> we'll get to the heart by taking all of this off. 
Very hot. Oh, I see where we're going here. Look at this. There's the stuff. Look at that. She wants me to twist off this top thing. Okay, there we go. Ooh, so this is the death. <coughs> All that to get to this thing that could kill me if I eat it. So we got to scrape. Oh, trying to keep my little cute heart intact. Oh my God. Ew. This hair is, there's so much of it. Wow. This is freaking me out. So this is all we're left with, guys. We're gonna deep fry these because this doesn't look good otherwise. I, this makes no sense to me. Are we missing part of this? What do you eat when it's in the jar? This, I don't understand how they get that stuff in the jar because look at these jarred chunks here. We're like, you know, to round this out, I'm just gonna deep fry these. Oh good, these are whole ones. I don't understand. <laughs> Is it a different type of artichoke? Like, not to be disgusting, but that's how much I just ate. That's it, it's all you can eat. This is garbage. Ugh, we're ready to fry. I made the straight up, this is the calamari batter. Same measurement, same everything. Adding one cup of soda water. So you just wanna put them in there and coat them. They're also just fine to sit here while your oil gets to the right temperatures. So just make sure they have a nice coating on them like that. what I've decided now. <laughs> I'm taking the homemade pita that was left in my fridge, which is delicious, and I've cut them in half and hollowed out most of the filling. I'm gonna toast them just to get them a little crispier. Uh, I have the Thousand Island. I have the iceberg I was hoping to use. So I'm gonna make these into sandwiches and stuff the pitas. I'm gonna chop up a finely shredded iceberg. And then these are gonna be like the I don't even know. They're kind of like, I mean, if you wanna not use mushrooms for calamari, you can use these and just make the smaller pieces. So I feel like I should taste one of these though now. I think I have enough to do four little pitas. They're quite large too, so I feel like they need to be cut in half, but let's do one of the marinated ones. Oh yeah, oh that's the double brat battered one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you can just eat those on their own. They're gonna be so good. Okay. I'm gonna toast and then assemble. Look at this little feast. Well, it's still kind of a big feast. These uh, fried artichokes turned out so good. So now you have another option uh, for, you know, in replace of mushrooms. I've decided to call these fried artichoke pita pockets. There's lots of extra lentil salad, so you can definitely eat that on the side. Oh my God. 
They're so cute. Mmm. It's restaurant quality food made from leftovers. You could do anything you want for this little lentil side business. Obviously you could just make regular tabbouleh too. Mmm. These are good. These are so good. Fried marinated artichokes are where it's at. And I just like to rant about whole artichokes, okay? We did some Googling. Turns out that those artichokes that you get, that I showed you at the beginning, the big green things, are basically inedible and the internet says so. And the marinated artichokes, I would dug a little deeper into them and I could see very little tiny hair things, but like not the full overgrowth of hair. <laughs> Which means, and we looked this up, that at these artichoke farms, like I, don't, I didn't really look that deep into it, but I, wherever they're growing artichokes for marinated artichokes, which are obviously more popular than whole artichokes, there must be, there's picking them very young, like before they get to the blossoming stage. When I dug into the middle, I could see like how there were just like a few of those little hair fibers, which you're obviously eating in the marinated artichoke one. And then that, that's like where I got wondering, I was like, this isn't even the same thing. I mean, obviously, cause these are like huge flat hearts, different taste actually. They're much more strong in flavor, like more bitter. Whereas the marinated ones, although they are marinated in spices and oil, just have a totally different, uh, different texture and flavor and everything. So just stick to the marinated ones. Like ain't nobody got time to deal with those artichokes. But anyways, now I know. I learned my lesson, never again. That has been another recipe. Make this one at home. Let me know what you think. If you do a little redo on it or a little improv on it, we'd love to see your version of this recipe. So I'm here every Wednesday for the rest of the month. I'm doing recipe over and over and over again. You're getting four brand new episodes of this series. You've been asking for a while. I delivered. It is often imitated, but never duplicated because I'm the only one that says recipe. All right, that's it for me. Make sure to come back next week. And in the meantime, you can watch me make more recipes because I got lots in the archives on the channel. See you guys next Wednesday. Bye.